Dowell. I'm a product manager for the integrated experiences product area at Looker, and I'm really excited to be here today to talk about how you can use Looker to ask more of your data with Slack. So to give a little bit of background about the product and our philosophy, Looker's goal, especially in the BI area, is to bring data to the people. And there are a few ways that we're aiming to do that. First is by delivering really rich, interactive data experiences that users really love to use. Second is by empowering users to quickly understand and explore their data and to really engage with it. And then finally, to provide seamless access to data where users spend their time, whether that's a specific tool or a specific, specific workflow or anything like that. And the last one is really important here because Looker really believes that today everyone needs access to data. You can use data when making decisions in your everyday life or when you're having a hallway conversation and you need to make a job-related decision about something, or perhaps if you need to do deeper analysis to understand the root cause or something like that. And traditionally, data tools are really built to enable that, that last area with generalized analysis and really cater to the traditional data analyst in that sense. But at Looker, we really believe that even if you're not a data analyst, you do need data and you use data to make decisions that drive outcomes. And so um, we really understand that data is most meaningful to a lot of our users when it's actionable. So shifting to Slack specifically, we had tons of demand from our customers to build out better integration opportunities here. And we realized that our customers and end users weren't only using Slack uh, as part of their everyday conversations, but really using this tool um, in a lot deeper context and using it to power operational workflows. And we saw an opportunity here to deliver a data-driven solution that could really power these everyday interactions. So when we initially were creating solutions for integration opportunities with Slack, one of the first capabilities that we delivered was the ability to send or schedule data from Looker to Slack. And this was really helpful if you were looking at, um, at data and you noticed something that would be interesting and wanted to ask a coworker about, or perhaps you have like a KPI dashboard that you really wanted to schedule to a team or leadership channel. Another opportunity we saw is that customers were really looking to bring data into those conversations. So we introduced a bot capability that allowed better integration to your Looker data directly from Slack. So with these integrations, we saw heavy adoption and we had great feedback from our customers and end users, but we realized as we were understanding more about the use cases that it just wasn't enough to meet our customers' evolving needs around scalability, security, and usability. And we really started thinking about how we could deliver a cohesive integration that addressed a lot of these opportunities. And so as we set out and started thinking about what a new and improved Slack integration looked like, there were a few things that we had in mind. One is that the new integration has to be really easy to set up and customers and especially admins needed to see that time to value within just a few clicks. Second is that it was easy to scale. So as our customers grow and perhaps expand to multi multiple Looker instances or even multiple Slack workspaces, it needed to be really easy and flexible to um, connect those things really seamlessly and make sure that maintenance and um, setup costs didn't grow with that scale. And then finally, the integration had to be really easy to use. We wanted something really rich and interactive that our customers actually um, enjoyed using beyond just providing more value into their workflow. Now, before I get into the demo of some of the features, I do wanna go over a few highlights that um, we have delivered with this new integration. So first is the new integration provides seamless access to your favorite Looker content when and where you need it. Second, we provide dynamic ways for you to access that data and bring data into any conversation because we realize that these, um, these opportunities to interact with your data are really very contextual. You could be in the Looker product and you need to send data to a specific person or a specific channel, but you may also be on the go and you need something really quick and easy and you don't have the ability to go and search through all of the content that you have built out in the system. We also understood that there was this really, um, really deep need for a very streamlined setup and maintenance process. And again, as I mentioned, that was really top of mind when we were developing out this new integration and making sure that that, um, that short time to value was really there. 
And then finally, um, enhanced security with support for user level authentication, which also enables some deeper permissioning with some of the access from within Slack. So now we'll jump into the fun part where I got to demo some of the features and capabilities highlighted here. So first I'm going to jump into our Looker instance. And from here, I'm gonna go into my admin panel and you'll see an option for actions. And from this list, you can see we have a lot of uh, integration opportunities here, but specifically showcase Slack and how easy it is to get set up with this one. Go into the settings here, and you'll see I already have it enabled and some workspaces connected, but it really is just as easy as toggling this on to, to enable the integration and then uh, start out by connecting to a Slack workspace. So we'll go ahead and add another one here. So once I connect, you can see it's it's pulled in the Slack workspace that I want to connect to. Then I can go ahead and click Allow. And once that's done processing, you'll see that I now have my new Looker workspace connected here. I can go ahead and show off some of the sharing capabilities that we have with the new integration. So I'm going to come back here to my homepage. And you'll see here, I have a dashboard called Daily Pulse. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. And as I mentioned, a really popular way to share uh, Looker content is by sending or scheduling that data. So I'm gonna come into the gear menu here and I'll go ahead and hit send. And you'll see I have the option here to select Slack. And it has the correct workspace already. So I'm just going to select a channel to share it in. I'm just going to share it here in Business Analytics. And I'll add a comment. Check this out. All right. I won't change any of those things. I'll go ahead and send it. And now I can go ahead and flip over to my Slack workspace. And you'll see I have the business analytics channel here. So once the data comes through and is rendered, oh, there we go. You'll see that I can go ahead and click into this, this PDF here. And anyone in that channel that, um, or, or in the direct message that you're working in can actually just open this up and have access to the same data at their fingertips that they would if they um, had the looker dashboard open and actually the ability to schedule um, dashboards or, or content on a regular basis is also uh, pretty popular, especially around KPI use cases. All right, so I'll go ahead and close that out. And I'll go back to my Looker instance here. Now sending and scheduling, definitely a, a favorite way to share from Looker, but another pretty common use case is you might just wanna grab the URL and uh, and send that to a coworker or a team channel as part of a conversation you already have going. So I'll just go ahead and grab the URL for this dashboard here and I'm gonna flip it back to my workspace and I'll just use the same channel here, but I'll go ahead and post the URL. Um, and you'll see here that uh, it generates a preview of the content with the title, the owner, things like that, and the ability to post a channel or add to favorites. And so you have a little bit of context and you know something about the data before you even click in to that dashboard. But uh, another option that we added was this post to channel. So instead of everyone in that conversation having to actually go into Looker in order to access the content, um, someone can just initiate a post right there. And then similarly to what we see above, the content will just load and everyone in that channel will, will have access to dive deeper into the data. So um, pretty cool there. All right, I'm going to come back to the slide deck here. And um, the last thing I really wanna wrap up with is talking about uh, some features that we have coming soon. So you have a little bit of insight into the direction that we're trying to move with, um, with our integrations and specifically with Slack. 
So the first thing I want to highlight is the ability to send uh, conditional alert notifications to Slack. And conditional alerts is a feature that we have in Looker today where you're able to uh, schedule a, a notification based on a metric reaching some threshold. But today, um, that delivery is really limited to just email. And in line with our, our Slack integration becoming generally available, but also this alerts feature being uh, more heavily used, we've really seen this demand to um, have alert notifications be sent to Slack too. And I think that's really consistent with what we've seen where um, our customers are really uh, running a lot of operational workflows and also um, automation through Slack. And so um, this is something that's currently in development and uh, should be released pretty shortly here. The next feature I wanted to talk about is Ask Looker and um, really lines up with that theme that I talked about earlier where we're trying to provide more dynamic ways for um, end users to access their Looker content and data from within Slack without ever having to go in product. And so this is one way that we really want to provide um, end users with, with shortcuts to their data so they can more easily access their favorite content or perhaps like questions that um, they're asking on a regular basis, perhaps to support those operational workflows, really giving them another forum to do that. All right, so that's all I had for um, today. Really appreciate the time to be able to walk through um, some, some background and inter information about our new integration and also give a sneak peek of some of our upcoming features. So uh, now I'll jump into the Q&A. All right, so I have one question here asking if all of the Slack uh, features and functionality shown here are able to be used together or if they require separate um, setup processes. So yeah, previously with our um, the previous integration solutions that I highlighted earlier with the, um, the standalone action to send data and um, to pull data into Looker. So previously those existed separately and did have separate uh, setup and maintenance solutions and each of those had kind of their own like frustrations or challenges, but they were set up and maintained differently. But one thing that's really cool about the new integration is we've taken kind of the favorites um, and the, the key value drivers of those integrations and pulled that functionality together into like a single really cohesive integration. So it really is only one setup process that you have to do, like going through and enabling the integration, adding whatever workspaces you need, and then replicating that same thing for any other Looker instances that you might want to have um, as part of that same cohesive integration. But definitely our goal was to make sure that um, it was super easy, not only to set up each piece of it, but that everything felt really, really deeply integrated um, and it was easy to maintain and scale over time. All right, and another question here I see is if we're planning to support other chat platforms outside of Slack, yeah, that's a great question, um, and, and we've had that a lot. Uh, we definitely plan to um, expand our integration opportunities in the future, and you saw that long list there of actions uh, when I was demoing. Um, Slack is definitely the start when we think about Slack platforms and how we um, promote uh, additional ways to hook into our product, um, and it was definitely a result of just such an intense customer demand that we had. Um, and the really dynamic ways that Slack was being used for customer workflows. So again, not just like for everyday chat capabilities, but also like a lot of really cool ways to um, hook in like bot solutions and automation there. And so definitely started there in addition to um, Slack releasing some of their new block, uh, block kit uh, capabilities, which really enabled us to uh, build some really cool interactive capabilities into the future. So um, yeah, Slack definitely, that was the starting point, and we're, we're really excited about that integration, but also looking ahead to some of the other um, platforms that we might want to enable going forward. All right, well, thanks so much, everyone. It was great to be here today. And um, if you have any other questions, uh, we'd love to hear from you, any feedback and requests. So um, definitely uh, connect with our team. We'd love to hear uh, what you're looking for out of uh, future integration opportunities.